Adam, welcome to Bradford City. How Thank does it you. feel to be here? Um, strange. Um, obviously delighted. Uh, massive club. Um, another chapter in my career and hopefully we can get, get going and, and put in some good performances and try and get promoted. What's brought it about? How have you ended up here? Um, <laughs> strange one really. Obviously I was doing, I was at Doncaster, I was club captain and played most of the games but I think they, they just fancied a change of direction. Um, and luckily for me, um, after obviously contacting a few people, this this came up and obviously it's, it speaks for itself. It's the biggest club in the division, um, and once it was sort of on the table, I couldn't I couldn't wait to do it. I guess when Bradford City come knocking, as you mentioned, with a manager who you know already, but with a stature like Mark Hughes at this level, you couldn't really turn it down. Uh, no, of course. Obviously, it was. It was a bit, a bit left field and out of the blue. Um, I didn't, didn't see it coming. Um, but once they, once they said you can sort of look to, look to leave, um, so you can play the, the games you want. And yeah, it's the second I, I knew of interest from, from Bradford. I mean, it's sometimes you don't come out um, better off. But I think in this situation, I've, I've come out sort of better off, bigger club, um, further up the table at the moment. Hopefully, stay there. Um, and a chance to, to play in front of as many fans as, as people get in the division. So something I'm really excited for and, and can't wait to get going. What's your relationship like with the manager? You obviously, go back to the very beginning of your, your career here was the manager that you had at Manchester City. I guess it's a bit of a full circle moment now. Um, yeah, um, it'll be good to, to finally get a, a first team appearance under him, hopefully. Um, he sort of took me out of the, 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 reserve, the reserve team at, at Man City and put me into um, the first team training with them um, day in day out traveling off of the 19th man um, but it was an experience at the time 18 years old managed to get on the bench a couple of times um, you know, like I said before still need to have a word with him about not putting me on against West Brom um, when they scored the goal and he told me to sit back down when he had my kit on um, but no obviously yeah, he took me out of probably started the, the ball going on my first team career really um, him and Glenn was the reserve team manager so yeah, they, they probably started that, that process and, and got me into first team football. We know you're a midfield player coming as captain of Doncaster Rovers, vastly experienced, close to 500 appearances in your career so far. What kind of a player can we expect for those who perhaps don't know too much about Adam Clayton? Um, someone who's going to give everything, um, try and help it, try and help others, try and, try and get the best out of others, um, win. I, I enjoy winning more than anything. Um, so yeah, just trying to be the best every day, standards, um, be a voice, be a, a leader in the, in, the, in the dressing room along with the, the lads who do it now. And yeah, just try and, try and achieve. That's, that's where I'm at in my career. I want to achieve, um, try and get out of this division uh, and, and enjoy. Um, and hopefully I can, I can bring my, my talents to the, to the fore as well. I, I like to, to play long passes, um, not, not kicking it. I try, I try to put people through on goal, try to find the striker. Um, and control games, that's, that's sort of my MO really. I try and control the, the tempo of the game for my team. Um, hopefully I can do that. You've played at Valley Parade before as recently as this season on the opening day. What kind of an experience was that and how much did that whet your appetite for now what you're going to be experiencing on a, a weekly, fortnightly basis? Um, yeah, of course. <laughs> we were having this talk last night, actually, me and my dad. He said, because uh, obviously he came to the game. He said, could you not sign for them? Because it was obviously, it was packed. I think it was a record uh, attendance for a, for a game. Could have signed for them, couldn't you? Um, he loves it, he loves his footy. Um, and yeah, it's obviously, like I say, it's massive, massive club. Um, the misses and, and uh, my dad said it was, you couldn't move, walking around the ground, things like that. It was like a Premier League game. So yeah, really excited to, to, to try and showcase what I can do. And again, as, as, a, as an opposing player, it's, 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 a, it's a daunting task coming and, um, trying to stop it, so on that day we, we managed to, to nick a draw, I think. But um, obviously now I'm, I'm part of the, the Bradford set, we'll be trying to, to win as many games at home as we possibly can. I guess coming into a club, having played the first half of the season at another club in the division, it helps you knowing the sort of teams that you're going to be playing for the remainder of the season, knowing the division, knowing the level. You can bring quite a lot to this side. Um, yeah, hopefully. Um, hopefully that's what the, the manager and, and Glenn have, have looked to, to bring me into. To try and have an impact, um, and yeah, like like I say, I played a lot of the teams. I looked at our fixtures, 
um, that we've got to go. I think we've got some, some tough games in, in, in the next few weeks um, and then we've got a really good run uh, to try and put something together. So I think it's, it's promising we've been in the playoffs most of the season. So yeah, it's about keeping the confidence, keeping the ball going and, uh, and, and try to climb up that league. You mentioned that word promotion. I guess on a short-term contract coming into a building until the end of the season, you, you've got that focus. You know exactly where you stand and where you're going to be for the rest of the season and what your focus is between now and the end yeah, of the Yeah, of course. I think if, if I can come in and, and impact promotion, that only makes my case stronger to, to try and get an extension on the contract. So that's, what I, that's my aim. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm from local Harrogate. Bradford's probably one of the biggest clubs around here. So if I can do another two, three years playing at a club of this stature, that's, that's my ambition. Um, and if I can be a part of a, a team that, that wins promotion, that's only going to help my, my case to, to do that. At home on Saturday, finally Carlisle United, another team doing well in the playoffs. I guess you're looking forward to that. Yeah, of course. Obviously, again, I played for, played for Carlisle. Um, we only, we, Doncaster only played them um, two weeks ago. Um, so I've, I've got a good look at them. Um, they're a very energetic team. They try and win the second balls, but a team that can be beat, um, and we can we can have a real good go against them. And looking forward to obviously first game in in the Bradford colours. And I imagine looking forward to seeing those sports. You got a final message for those? Uh, yeah, of course. Obviously, just I'm here, I'm here to to try and make an impact and, and do as well as I can for for you and try and get us into into to League One and, and beyond.